The adult human brain weighs about three pounds. The brain makes up only 2% of the body's weight, but uses 20% of the body's energy. Welcome back to the Kahnema Connection. The brain requires a constant flow of blood to work properly. If blood flow is disrupted, brain cells do not receive enough oxygen, resulting in cell death. Doctors who treat stroke say time is brain, and they want you to know the warning signs. Fortunately, it was the 4th of July. Any other day and Jackie Yeager would have been at work. Because it was a holiday, she was home, paying bills in the kitchen. I was sitting at the counter there, writing out bills and that to mail the next day, and he came in from outside and he just stood there and asked me if he was okay, and he said, I don't think so. I was cleaning out my truck. We'd just come back from camping, and I was, I was vacuuming the truck out, and I just felt funny. I don't know, just felt goofy. I walked down the sidewalk and staggered a little bit as I came. Charles Brewer was having a stroke. Early on, he was still able to talk and walk. That would change. But his initial symptoms were far less remarkable. He just stood there and looked like, like he didn't know what he was doing, you know, like he was lost or something. Fortunately for Charles, Jackie recognized the early warning signs of a stroke and took immediate action, driving him to a nearby ambulance station. I think it was hard for him to even get out of the car by the time I got there. And they just checked him and everything. And they started the hospital with him, but then they stopped down there in Cherry Tree and called Life Flight in. In the short time it took for the helicopter to get to Memorial Medical Center, Charles' condition had worsened. Yeah, by the time we got to the hospital, then he, under his whole right side, he couldn't move it. He couldn't talk or anything. But despite the fact that his condition had deteriorated, luck was still on Charles' side. Because Jackie had recognized his symptoms and gotten help right away, Charles met the criteria for TPA, a clot-busting drug that must be given within a three-hour window. It's a uh, biochemical that actually breaks clot within our own system that we have on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just used in a much higher quantity um, when we give it through the IV. Uh, and basically the, the purpose of that is to break up clot that may have formed from either heart attack or stroke or what have you. TPA dissolves a blood clot, uh, but we have three hours from the time mm. the symptoms start until we can no longer give that medication. Um, and three hours sounds like a long time, but till the patient or family recognizes at home what's going on, they activate emergency medical services, get here to the emergency department and we need to get a scan and some basic testing, you're really fighting the clock. That three hour window is always on the minds of those caregivers waiting for stroke patients like Charles to arrive. Stroke alert staff, emergency room. Because time is so key to treating these patients, we wanted to optimize our opportunity to really get to people quickly. It's paged overhead, uh, and the team knows immediately what their piece is. But sometimes, by the time the patient gets to the hospital, the window of opportunity is already gone. And that's why doctors say it is so important for people to recognize the symptoms of stroke. So what are the symptoms of stroke? What do you need to remember? The key is to think fast. F is for facial weakness. Ask the person to smile. Is their eye or mouth drooping? A is for arm weakness or numbness. Can the person raise both arms? S is for speech difficulty. Can the person speak clearly? Can they understand what you're saying? And T is for time. Do not wait. Call for help immediately. I think it, it hurts the families a little bit too because they may not have realized or they thought, well, we'll just give it a little bit more time and see if it improves. And, and when it doesn't and they come in late and we have to kind of say that there's nothing much we could do, you know, obviously it does impact the families and, and they do take it hard. A terrible headache and loss of vision can also be signs of stroke. While symptoms like that are dramatic, doctors say to keep in mind that sometimes the early symptoms can be subtle. You know, just a little bit of a slurring of the words, a little bit of a facial droop, a little bit of a weakness of an extremity, a hand or a, or a lower leg or something like that. The best way to treat a stroke is to prevent it. That's why it's also important to know the risk factors for stroke, which go hand in hand with the risk factors for heart disease. 
managing blood pressure, make sure that pa patients have their blood pressure in a normal range. If someone is diabetic, that they take care of their blood sugar, they take their medicine as they should and keep that level where it should be. Treating high cholesterol. Cholesterol is the, the fatty buildup in arteries and it affects arteries in the brain as well as the heart and elsewhere in the body. Uh, don't smoke. Smoking actually takes blood vessels and constricts them so blood can't get through as readily. So back to Charles Brewer. He was unable to walk, unable to talk, but got to Memorial Medical Center in time for treatment with the Clotbuster TPA. Well, I think it made all the difference in the world. Uh, to her getting me there on time, you know, in time. And that TPA shot, it just did wonders. Because like uh, my son-in-law said, within six to seven hours, he said I was talking and moving my hands and legs and feet and everything like that. So it's made a heck of a difference. To help you remember the warning signs of stroke, the Connemaw Health System wants you to have this magnet and this pocket card, which lists the stroke warning signs and what to do. If you'd like a free magnet or pocket card, simply go to www.connemaw.org and click on the Connemaw Connection button. Or call our 24-hour Connemaw Nurse Connection toll-free at 1-800-587-5875. Coming up, 23 years of life with epilepsy, sometimes up to 20 seizures a day. Would surgeons at Memorial Medical Center be able to cure this young woman? That answer straight ahead. Well, we're here today to present some blankets to you as a, as a thank you for everything that you did for my daughter on the day she was born and for the week after so that um, we could have her for the rest of our lives. It probably brightens her day. They probably smile a lot more, knowing that it doesn't hurt when it pulls off, and especially when you get more than one Band-Aid a day. Did you know that Albert Einstein's brain was actually one-tenth smaller than the brain of an average male? <laughs> 